Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting things off a little different. No b-roll of the morning, nothing like that. We're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, I just got off work. I was doing a bit of concrete cutting today, if you're curious. And uh, since I got off a little early, I'm going to meet up with our boy Aaron the DJ and we're gonna meet at uh, a Tim Hortons near the pick and pull and grab a coffee and then he has a few parts that he needs to get at the pick and pull so I'm gonna join him along on that little adventure never know I might find a little piece for this thing I'm not looking for anything <laughs> but uh, you know if something comes along at a decent price you never know but we're there for Aaron the DJ stuff today and uh, yeah we're gonna go meet up with him right now and see how that turns out so join me along on that adventure you guys can hear it or not but that rattle is still there so I might have got one piece of that heat shield on the exhaust but maybe there's more so I'm gonna have to investigate that a little more but let's go get a cop Catch up with you guys in a little bit. What's up? Let it rock and roll, man. What you got there? 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 Tools, 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 tools. Pick a bull. Tools. Let's do it. This is the say car sale side pick and pull some pretty good deals here man just like anything taking a risk but we're going on an adventure for parts let's do it high top van hey bruce we found your brand new van look at that it's got a high top and everything and it has a ladder and it's, i i think Speaking about a tail light solar panels judging by the tail lights it looks like a chevy Look at the cube trucks in here today. You usually don't see that many. Another one. Another one. Cool. Hey, look at that van. Is that a square body over here? One second, Aaron. That's a square body. Why would somebody put you here? Not you. You. Oh, I see why missing almost everything it was an automatic that's why it's still here but me here's your camper Aaron. and a school bus i got a tires on that puppy row 77 It breaks my heart to see things like this in here. Oh, watch this. Oh. Why? You could have been mine. Probably was mine at one point. Hey, look at that. <laughs> but, uh... Can't save them all. Look at that. We know that color. Looks just like Jeffy Bear's old van. It does, doesn't it? Oh, no. I want 
Oh, no way. See, we all feel that pain in some sort of way. Some with Broncos, and some with old boats. Always wanted one of these in this year. What she got in it? Dang. Breaks my heart. Hey, there you go. Hey, why didn't I think of using my drive shaft as a hood prop? Yeah, what were you thinking? Yeah, who needs a drive shaft? <laughs> oh. Why you do this? The graveyard a cool car. It definitely is, man. PD Firebird? I knew that was a Pontiac motor. Oh. Why? I better not see not one dang station wagon up in here. I'll make them a trade. Oh my god. Come on now. A two door Buick. That could have been saved. That could have been. <laughs> Please tell me this is not a Malibu. Please tell me this is not a Malibu. Please tell me this is, this is a Malibu. But it's a, it's a four door. It's a four door, but it's a Malibu. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for what they did to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't even look at it no more. I must go. Oh, it only gets worse. It only gets worse. Look, console shift car. Oh, man. Chibody guys be dying for a freaking car like this to strip. Oh. So much potential. See? You guys wonder why I don't go and buy land? Because it would look like this. Maybe trying to save them all. Call it Bruce's Van Life Restorations. Well, we're not restorating vans, we're restorating hot rods. I just live in a van, that's why we call it the company that. Good problem with it. Maybe one day. Like, share, and subscribe. I make it happen. We gotta find Aaron. Aaron! Finding anything? Oh, I gotta go again. This is bullshit. Aaron, why'd you bring me here? This place is breaking my heart. Look at this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, look, the chrome is still shiny. It's got, it's got a chance. We can save it. We can, ah, screw it. So what you doing there, man? I'm uh, making a mess. Making a mess, but we do best. So I think we're gonna have to get underneath that for the windshield wiper motor. Yeah, we gotta pull the, this uh, cover off and then uh, pull the motor out. Cool. Get underneath this plastic thingy. Yeah, this has gotta come out. The, the motor and the arm controls underneath there. And these are all, because I've been sitting in the sun forever, they're just stuck. All right, I'm gonna lend my hand. Let's get her done. Yep, yep. Kids, how you remove it just like the factory says. Right? And not the, they teach you in the factory how to remove these things? Yeah, I'm sure half the clip's still stuck to here. Yeah. It's actually nice. Because part. then you can reuse them, right? That's the whole purpose behind it. You get a new plastic piece and you can reuse these clips. That's the trick. 
Ah. That's the trick, everybody. So this is the wiper motor? Yeah, wiper motor and control. We're gonna pull them out. Also, be very careful when you're walking around here because you never know when death's around the corner. <laughs> anyway, I think we got the part he needs. Got one of the parts, and we're looking for one more. There's a few more Ford Escapes to check out, so we're gonna check those out. Also, one more touch of heartbreak. Oh. Look, there's the carburetors. Georgia bought a size of carburetor. She probably had a slant six. If that's the original one. Got it? Got it. Woo! Need a little brucing? <laughs> In other words, we had to break some shit. Oop. Had to break it. <laughs> yeah, it does. This is one of the pieces that he needed. So now he's got the windshield wiper motor and the arm. Can't be nothing going wrong. Unless these parts go wrong. They really don't make space for people to get underneath those dashes anymore, do they? No, they don't. And whoever put this one in here, put an alarm system in here. Ooh. So the, uh... I think the battery did though. <laughs> it might be. It'd be a bad fright if stuff starts going off on us. <laughs> but when they do the alarms and stuff, they like, don't leave any room. It's just like one little bolt. Feel it, Aaron. Just f can you feel it? <laughs> can you just see? It? Look at it. Just feel look the burn. at it. Just look at it, Aaron. Okay, look at it, man. Getting his grip on. That's how you know you're close. Yeah, this thing's like, holy wow, impossible. And it's this one bolt that holds it on. Like, it's not like, you know what I mean? I have to squeeze myself down there and see what we can. I'm gonna try to break it. Break it. Do it. Do it. Well, I pulled the one clip off. See? Fixed. No, it's just... Now can I get at it? Man, would you look at this? I just noticed this. The door bolts are on the outside and the inside. So you'd have to take it off that panel regardless. Genius. I love engineers nowadays. See, the thing is, right, like, it was so hard to get to that you got to it. Yeah. And you loosened it. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> but I, all I, I had did, to... Did I slam my hand into it? <laughs> yeah, because all I had to do was just turn up my finger. Yeah, I, I thought I got it, because, well, I slammed my, <laughs> my hand into it, so I was like, 
Hung up on one or two threads. Well, we gonna get them. We gonna get them. We ain't gonna give up till we do. Put them vendors to work. Dang spinny washer. <sighs> what is it? Oh, do you? Proper wrench? Be the wrench. You become the screwdriver. There you go. Hey, I mean, if the women don't find you handsome, they might as well find you handy. <laughs> Thanks, Red Green. <laughs> don't say that just because my van's half held together by duct tape either. That's true. We won. Thank you, door handle, for giving up your life for my <laughs> no, it won't open. Sorry, anybody else. <laughs> Ford Taurus. Catastrophic, catastrophic failure. Look at that. Look at that. Rust. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine's got that on the dipstick. Cool it all the way up. Oh, yeah. Uh, funny enough, funny fact, the uh, Ford Taurus electric fans, some of the best on the market. A lot of the race car guys use them. Remember that, everybody. Screw those big old friggin' swinging death fans that take off fingers. I almost lost enough fingers in my life. It's the one thing I will go electric on is an electric fan. Yeah, I had a uh, dual electric fan for my Camaro. Yeah. I think they came out of this, didn't they? Just as he says Camaro. It's a shame someone painted that block and just left it. It's just like that though. Like sometimes you just, you get the certain part on something, you get so frustrated and you're just like, I need a moment. Or get another set of hands to come in. 100%. Right, uh, Brian got second, caught with that recently. Second set of eyes, man. I helped uh, Brian change his O2 sensors. Yeah. He did the first one. By the time he got to the second one, he was so frustrated with fighting the first one that he was just like, oh, I just need to get away from this thing for a minute, but it also needs to get done. <laughs> And he just came down to the parking lot and he's like, dude, can you help me? <laughs> Does that mean you can help me with my O2 sensors? Could possibly. All right, brother. We just need a torch and a big hammer. <laughs> All right. We're going to rush out of this place before they close. Either that or I'm living in the parking lot officially. I think you'll like Aaron's shirt. Is that broken, Nomad? <laughs> Well, that was successful. Heck yeah, dude. That was a pretty yeah, successful bro. day. Got a bunch of perks. Yeah, I appreciate your help, brother. No worries, dude. No worries. I always appreciate it. I always appreciate you letting me come along on these adventures, brother. Now that your son's car can get a little bit of fixing. Yeah, it needs some work. We bought a used escape and it definitely needs some work. So I don't mind being a good dad and grabbing him some parts and helping him out. Heck yeah, dude. Like, this comes out of his bank account, not mine. There you go. That's, that's a good day. You should have sent it to the dealership, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but all, being, all with that being said, if he would have went to the dealership to get this work done. Oh, it would have been well over $1,000. Yeah, yeah. Recently, someone had mentioned that 
me banging my van into the pool was going to be an expensive repair, but like Aaron said, what repair? <laughs> Alright you guys, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Alright Aaron twisted my arm, we're going for another coffee, yeah! See you later Pecker Paul, we'll be back soon. Turns out Aaron's son's just going to come here to the Tim Hortons parking lot, and we're going to put the parts on here, because why not? <laughs> This vlog is just going to be a lot of drinking coffee, I think. <laughs> well, the new part is in. She's all bolted down. And one over there. Soon enough, we'll see if it works. Comes here with the windshield wipers. Woohoo! Fun fact about my windshield wipers they actually came from Chrome's van when we were doing his Tyro wrap. So that gives you an idea on how old those windshield wipers are. Thankfully, it doesn't rain much here in Calgary, so don't really need them. Uh oh! What we got it. Just had a loose screw in that one. Another one bites the dust. After helping Aaron, I got back to Deerfoot City and found out that our friend Matt, or Mr. Blur, was finally back from his trip to BC, where he picked up a bunch of goodies for his van, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. But the main thing is, the dogs are back. Chappy! Also, while we were all hanging out, John removed his wood stove from his motorhome because it just didn't suit his needs. Matt got to show off his new water tanks. He got this 100 liter clear water tank and then also an 80 liter gray water tank. On top of that, he got both passenger and driver swivel with the handbrake lowering kit. We ended up putting in the passenger seat swivel and I think Chappie approves. With all the commotion of giving Aaron a hand today at pick and pull, helping his son replace the windshield wiper motor, and a few other things on his car, which was really cool to have done, catching up with Matt and everybody down at Deerfoot City, I forgot to pick up the camera anymore after that last clip. So I'm going to have to end the video off here. Tomorrow morning, we have to head out to Canmore, which is directly towards the mountains. So that's gonna be a beautiful morning drive, which I will bring you guys all along on. I'm going out there for some work. I have to be in Calgary again the next day after, as far as I know. So it might be just a one day out there and then coming back the next morning or that night. We will see how it all works out. But for right now, I'm gonna end this video off. Thank you all for joining me along on that quick little adventure to pick and pull. And I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed, maybe even learned something. I know it wasn't very informative, but you kind of get the point of what we were doing. So, with that all being said, remember, never give up on living life. Because life is the most precious thing we have. I'll see you all in the next one.